गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम सैलेंद सिंह ओझा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फंडामेंटल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग इन दिस सब्जेक्ट विल डिस्कस द नंबर सिस्टम सो वट इज नंबर सिस्टम नंबर सिस्टम इज डिफाइंड एज अस्टम ऑफ राइटिंग टू एक्सप्रेस नंबर and uh, it is a mathematical notation of representing numbers of a given set by using digits or other symbols in a consistent manner it provides a unique representation of every number and represents the arithmetic and algebraic structures of figures so basically in number systems we can represent any quantity which can be counted and in number system there will be certain digits or there may be a certain symbols and these symbols these digits will get repeated after certain regular interval i mean to say that number of symbols and number of digits will be limited for example if i will consider a decimal number later on we will discuss various number systems in decimal number systems total digits are 9 like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and if you will consider any number any number of any number of digits you will not find out any digits other than the tangent for example if I, in decimal number system there are the various digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and you can consider any example you will find out few digits from these tangents or at most there can be all tangents so let us uh, start number system <coughs> most famous number systems are four digital number systems we are very much familiar with this number system from our childhood we are dealing in <laughs> decimal number systems and next one is binary number system octal number system and hexadecimal number system so in decimal number system the base is 10 <coughs> and the there are 10 digits the digits are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 5 7 8 9 if you count there are 10 digits you can take an example of any number you will not find out 11th digit you can consider <coughs> 1 2 4 5 6 7 0 whatever you can consider but you will not find out any digit other than these in decimal number system so decimal number system is a <coughs> positional value system that means every digit have its positional weight for example if uh, i will consider <coughs> 731 the weight of this position is 1 weight of this position is 3 into 100 so 3 into 10 sorry and its weight is 7 into 100 and it is actually 4 into 1 that means we are going to multiply these uh, weights by the individual digits and you can see what is this number this is what 4 into 1 is 4 plus 3 into 10 is 30 7 into 10 is 700 So what is the sum of 
these three digits it is equal to 734 that means every place in decimal number system have the unique positional weight okay if you will consider for example uh, a 971 This digit should be multiplied by 10 to the power zero. This digit should be multiplied by 10 to the power one, and this digit should be multiplied by 10 to the power two. If there are few more digits, then you can consider 10 to the power four, 10 to the power five, and so on. So in this way, we can actually. it is quite simple uh, all of us are familiar with these uh, weights from our uh, school days but it will be very much useful whenever we will deal with uh, other number systems like binary octal and hexadecimal that that time this rule will help us so much <coughs> and in case of binary number system there are two digit <coughs> two digits as it is clear from its name and <coughs> the two digits are 1 and 0 okay and if i will talk in terms of computers then computer doesn't understand 0 and 1 it terms is it, it uh, understands uh signal it will understand voltage level so one voltage level means high volt and zero means low and high means uh, high doesn't mean that you can apply to 30 volt high means it can be around 5 volt 7 volt i can and it will be around 0 volt so in this way computer can deal with the binary number system <coughs> and base of binary is 2 and earlier we have seen that base of uh, decimal number system is 10 Uh, sometimes base is also referred to as radix so radix of radix or base of binary number system is 2 and it is also a positional uh, weight number system you can see for example if i will consider any digit 1 0 or 1 1 0 1 then weight of this digit is 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 4 and 2 to the power 5 and earlier i told you that uh, this uh, positional weight will help very much whenever we deal with other systems <coughs> in case of binary number system these weights were 10 to the power 0 10 to the power 1 10 to the power 2 10 to the power 3 why because the base of decimal number system was 10 and base of binary number system is 2 so due to this fact positional weight will be like this 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 3 and so on and you can see uh, from these bits this rightmost bit will have minimum or least weight so due to this it is called least significant bit lsb least significant bit and this is most significant bit this is msb which is nothing but most significant bit <coughs> now if uh, you have any number system which is given in binary how you can recognize how you can find out whether the given number system is in binary or not there are few ways one one way is uh, the person or the in question it will be mentioned that it is a binary number system if it is not mentioned then it may be represented like this see this this is what this is 2 this this is the base so from this will understand that this is binary number system 
so you can uh, multiply the bits by their widths so 0 into 2 to the power 0 1 into 2 to the power 1 and this this and this so in this way if we will solve this whatever number you will be find out whatever number you will find out that number will be automatically converted into decimal number system for example if we if you will solve this it is 26 so this 26 is in decimal What does it mean? It simply means that uh, you have converted binary number system into decimal. So, this is the very simple method to convert any binary number system into decimal number. And all of you are familiar with this. That 1 byte is equal to 8 byte, 1 kilobyte is equal to 1024 bytes, and 1 megabyte is equal to 1024 kilobytes, and 1 gigabyte is equal to 1024 megabytes. So, after uh, discussing <coughs> binary number system, we are going to move towards octal number system. In case of octal number system, as it is clear from its name, there will be 8 number of digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There will be digits from 0 to 7 and total number of digits will be 8. If I will talk about uh, the weights, then in case of uh, decimal, the weights was like 10 to the power 0, 10 to the power 1, 10 to the power 2, 10 to the power 3, 10 to the power 4, 10 to the power 5. In case of binary, the <laughs> positional weights was 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2. And in case of octal number system, these weights will be like this. A to the power 0, A to the power 1, A to the power 2, A to the power 3, A to the power 4, A to the power 5 and so on. So, if you will take any number, okay, and like uh, this 7261, then for this 8, 8 will be multiplied by what? 8 to the power 0, 6 will be multiplied by 8 to the power 1. 2 will be multiplied by next positional weight, 7 will be multiplied by 8 to the power 3, like that. Okay. And if you will solve this, then you can find out the equivalent decimal numbers. Okay. <coughs> For example, uh, there is a next number system that is hexadecimal number system as it is clear from its name that hexadecimal number system will have 16 number of digits. There will be digits from 0 to 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then A, B, C, D, E, F and remember that A is equivalent to 10, B is equivalent to 11. C is equivalent to 12 and so on and it, it will be up to F where F is equivalent to 15. Okay, decimal equivalent of any hexadecimal number system is, a, uh, is the sum of product of each digits with its positional value which we are discussing in this lecture from beginning. Let us consider 27 FB 16. It will be equal to what? This B B is equivalent to what you have seen there. It is equivalent to 11. So it is equal to 11 into 16 to the power 0. F, F is equivalent to 15. Positional weight is 16 to the power 1, 7. Positional weight is 16 to the power 2, 27, this 2, 2 into 16 to the power 3. If you will solve this, add this, you will find out it is equal to this number and this number is in decimal number. Yes, 
you can verify it you will never find out any digit other than 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 after conversion hence we have converted the number into the decimal number system so now <coughs> number system relationship <coughs> in hexadecimal number is like zero in decimal in octal in binary so you can convert these numbers very easily up to 15 <coughs> in hexadecimal 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 a b c d e f and their equivalent in decimal will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 up to 9 it will be same after 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and in octal from 0 to 7 it will be same 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 after 7 8 digit doesn't exist in number uh, in octal number system so in place of 8 it will be 7 0 then uh, after 7 it will be 1 0 then 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 1 7 after 1 7 what number will come 2 0 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 2 5 2 6 2 7 then 3 0 like that and the binary equivalents are these you can easily convert a number from either decimal to binary or octal to binary we will discuss these later but this time you can remember that these are the equivalents of binary equivalents in binary from these number systems now <coughs> it is very easy to convert any number system uh, <coughs> from either octal binary or decimal or hexadecimal to decimal just by multiply the digits by their positional weights. Now let us discuss how we can convert decimal number system into binary or octal number system or decimal number system to octal or decimal number system into hexadecimal. For that we can remember this division method this is also called as double double method. For example, you want to convert 14 from decimal into the uh, binary number system, you can just divide 14 by 2, it will be, seven, we can divide it 7 times and remainder will be 0, again divide 7 by 2, it will be 3 times and remainder will be 1, 2, 1, okay, like this, you can divide, so if you will convert it uh, even uh, you cannot leave it here you can again divide it by 2 it will be how, how, uh, how many times we can divide it can divide be 0 times and remainder will be 1 ok and then now whenever remainder will be 1 that time we will stop and now you can write this conversion in this order remember this or <coughs> this number we need to write in or write from bottom to top in reverse order so 14 in binary or oh sorry 14 in decimal will be equivalent to 1 1 1 0 ok convert 258 into decimal it is very easy multiply 5 by its positional weight 1 by its positional weight 2 by its positional weight so this time you can see we get 1 4 1 ok so this uh, 141 will be obtained in decimal number system and also remember a few more things that if uh, there may, may be a number system like this 215.23 then its position weight will be 8 to the power minus 1 
a to the power minus 2 and similarly you can multiply these digits by their positional weights and if you will add them then you can convert this number into the decimal number system also. So, if there is a point associated with the number or fractional number can also be converted into the decimal or from decimal to any other number system. Now, let us consider few more examples. Convert 1A316 into octal. As 16 is mentioned, so we can understand that it is given in octal number system. Here it is mentioned, even if it will not be mentioned, then by default we will understood that this number is in octal number system. Oh, sorry, this number is in hexadecimal number system and let us convert this number into octal number system. See, <clears throat> there may be two methods. One method is first convert this hexadecimal number into decimal and then you can convert decimal number system into octal and we are familiar with these two methods. <clears throat> However, this simple method and more accurate method, how I am saying more accurate, more accurate means there are the very less chances of error. What you can do? You can represent every digit by a 4 bit binary equivalent. So, 4 bit binary equivalent we can easily write. You can write 4 bit binary equivalent very easily. like this and then you can combine this and then whatever binary number you get you can make groups of three starting from the rightmost side like this if i will say this 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 like that okay and even this so then convert this three bit binary into the octal so, it is very easy to convert any hexadecimal number system into the octal. Just remember one concept and that concept is whenever you will deal with the hexadecimal number system and if you want to convert that number into binary, make groups of 4 bit or represent individual digit of hexadecimal number system by 4 bit binary equivalent. If you are converting, if you want to convert any binary number system into hexadecimal number system, you can play just reverse. That means you can make group of 4 bits and then represent that bit by its 4 bit equivalent. Then you can easily convert any binary number system into hexadecimal number system. Similarly, for octal number system, you can make groups of 3 bits. Okay, You can simply make group of 3 bits. Just see here. <coughs> if you will have this number and if you want to convert this number into the uh, binary, then you can represent 3 by its 3 bit equivalent, six, 4 by its 3 bit equivalent, 6 by its 3 bit equivalent, then number will be automatically converted into binary. And then if you want to convert that number into hexadecimal, then you can opt this method, make groups of 4 bits. So, how to remember that uh, in which case uh, we will form a group of 4 bits or 3 bits? In the case of hexadecimal, sorry, that For hexadecimal number system, in case of hexadecimal number system, base is 16, which is 2 to the power 4. In case of octal, 
बेस इज एट एट इज इक्वल टू 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 दावर थ्री सो यू कैन रिमेम्बर दिस इन केस ऑफ ऑक्टल मेक ग्रुप ऑफ थ्री बिट्स इन केस ऑफ हेग्वाडेसिमल मेक ग्रुप ऑफ फोर बिट्स कन्वर्ट दिस नंबर सेवन सिक्स इन टू हेक्साडेसिमल दिस इज गिवन इन ऑक्टल नंबर सिस्टम सो हाउ वी कैन कन्वर्ट इट अर्लियर वी हैव डिस्कस दैट रिप्रेजेंट सिक्स बाय इट्स थ्री बिट इक्वेलेंट सेवन बाय इट्स थ्री बिट इक्वेलेंट ओके देन राइट दिस बिट्स लाइक दिस देन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट एनी बाइंड नंबर इन टू हेक्साडेसिमल मेक ग्रुप ऑफ फोर बिट्स लाइक दिस and then you can represent four bit equivalent in hexadecimal and simply you can convert this number uh, into hexadecimal number so it is easy to convert hexadecimal number system into octal and octal into hexadecimal just remember this trick that make group of four bits if you are dealing with uh, hexadecimal number system and make group of three bits if you are dealing with octal number system so this is how you can uh, convert any number from any number system to any number system okay uh, thank you this is what which i have to discuss today thank you